Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to, um, to graph a, a linear inequality when it's written in standard form. Now, since this inequality is, is written in standard form, there's kind of two ways we could graph this. We could graph this using the intercept method or the slope intercept method. Um, since both of my coefficients of my x and y um, can be divided into my constant 10, I'm going to use the intercept method. And basically, the intercept method, um, when you think of like, you know, even for equation, basically what we want to do is identify the x and the y intercepts and then connect. So I'm going to look at an equation because really, an equation and an inequality, um, the graphs are going to be exactly the same, except for the inequality, we need to determine the boundary line if that's a part of the solution or not. And then we need to do shading. But as far as identifying the x and y intercepts, I'm going to look to an equation to do that. So remember the x intercept is when y equals 0. When the graph crosses the x-axis, if there's the y-axis, here's the x-axis, any time when the graph is on this x-axis, the y value is 0. So for the x-intercept, y equals 0. So I plug 0 in for y equals 10. So I have 2x equals 10, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 5. That means the x-intercept for my equation and inequality is at 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I need to go ahead and find the y-intercept. So for the y-intercept, my y value or my x value is equal to 0. Any point that lie where the graph crosses the y-axis, the x value is 0. So therefore, I plug 0 in for, uh, for x plus 5y equals 10. That goes to 0. 5y equals 10. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. y equals 2. So I go up to 2. Now I can connect these two points. But before I connect these two points, I want to make sure, what about the line? Is the line a part of the solution or not? And I could use test point, but I could also just look at my inequality sign. Since that's less than or equal to, the or equal to tells me that my line is going to be a part of my solution. So therefore, I'm going to graph it as a solid line. Now we need to determine, what about the shading? What about the points below or above? Are those going to be true or not? So we need to use a test point. And the best test point to use, as long as your line doesn't go through it, is 0, 0. So now I'm simply just going to plug 0 in for x and 0 in for y. And I'm going to make sure I plug it into my inequality because I want to make sure, is this going to be true or not? Well, 2 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. So I have 0 is less than or equal to 10, which obviously that is true. So since one point below the line is true, that means all the points below the line are going to be true. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a linear inequality using intercept form. Thanks.